All right, so here is how you use the print screen button to insert screenshots into Word documents. This can be handy, um, especially if you have programs that don't let you save uh, what you see in it. It's a way to insert sort of what the results are. So as an example, say I wanted to send this page about goats and I want to get a screenshot because I want my browser bar in there for whatever reason. Um, so to do this, you need the print screen button and if you have a regular keyboard it might just be a single button like this that you hit. Um, if you have a laptop it potentially is a separate button. Again you just hit that to print screen. More likely though it's shared with another button like my laptop here I have to hit the function button and then the end button which is also print screen. So you hold down function and hit whatever button that is there. Um, so let's go back to the goat page and I'll hit print screen here and that saves it to the clipboard so you can just paste it into any application like Word say. The only thing is it's your entire screen and you maybe don't want that so in Word you can crop it out go to picture tools format and hit crop uh, if you have a different version of Word it might be in a different spot so you can crop it down to just what you want. Um, you have to notice there's these handles here and it turns into sort of an upside down T in that case or different versions but if it turns into arrows it's actually just resizing not cropping uh, so you have to get it just right and then you can crop that out let's say I want all this then uh, once you're done cropping you can resize it to get it up to the size you're wanting alternatively you can use paint to redo it so let's say I had a new image here um, you just hit paste and it puts the whole image there again it's, it's huge because it's screens and it's got all this other crap. Um, so you can zoom out under view, hit zoom out a few times, go back to the select tool and just select only what you want. Um, and then use control C or copy to put that on the clipboard and paste it in in Word. And again that's only the section you want. Alternatively you can copy it again, um, then make a new image. You don't need that one anymore paste and you can resize that if you want and you can save this and then actually insert the image so save it as say PNG or JPEG um, so I'm going to save it as goats and then in Word or another program you can insert image so this saves a separate copy of it there you go um, finally if you have Office 2010 it comes with OneNote or you have OneNote separately um, and OneNote has a shortcut to make this even easier. Uh, you just have to change under options the screen clippings options. Send it to the clipboard only. And what this does is when you hit the screen clipping button, which is hold down the Microsoft Windows key on your keyboard and hit S, um, it enters this screen capture mode where you can just select part of it. And it only copies part of that to the keyboard. So. There you go, that's probably the fastest way to do it because it lets you directly copy and insert. So there's how you make screen captures in Windows.